Hey, what's up guys? Moto Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. In the last couple of days, I've been trying to make a moto vlog, but nobody told me how difficult it would be to ride and talk at the same time, which is weird because so many other YouTubers that I watch do it consistently and don't have any one of the issues that I'm going to be talking about right now, but I find myself fumbling over my words and things don't come out the way that I intend them to, so I just end up giving up on the video completely and not uploading it. And I finally said to myself, dude, I just gotta get rid of this dumb fear, finish a video and upload it. So that's the video you guys are gonna watch today. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Do you guys wanna see moto vlogs come to the channel? And what other kinds of videos do you wanna see come to the channel? Leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to read all of them. And I'll see you guys in this video. Well, hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm out here riding my beautiful wrecked scuffed up bruised up 2019 yamaha r3 out here on one of my favorite roads that i love to ride just before the sun goes down i don't like to ride at night so i just thought that with the last little bit of time that i have left to enjoy i would talk to you guys I've been doing YouTube for about two months now and I just recently made my first 100 bucks. That might not sound like a huge deal to you guys. Ooh, that was a bunny, gross. <laughs> Poor guy. But anyway, um, I just recently made my first $100 here on YouTube. I've been doing it for two months and I've already got like 1.3 thousand subscribers. That's ridiculous, man. Like you guys might not think that that's a really big deal, but it's a huge deal to me. My dream is to ride motorcycles and have fun doing it and somehow making a living off of it. Now the only way for that to happen is to have the time to do it. Which is why I think that YouTube is such a fantastic vehicle for this because if you somehow are able to do YouTube full time, doing something that you love, then you don't have to work a job. Imagine that, not having to work a job, going out there and filming videos of things that you actually enjoy doing and that you have a passion for. YouTube is fantastic, man. It's great. I just want to say how grateful I am for every single one of you guys who click on this video and watch it because that means that you saw some sort of value, whether it be entertainment or um, knowledge in my channel and in my videos that in some way, shape or form you found value and enjoyed them. And the way that I think is if I make videos the videos that I truly want to make, people who are like-minded like me are gonna be attracted to this, those videos and they're gonna watch them, which are you guys. And this is really just gonna be a test of how many people are interested in a moto vlog style channel or even just getting to know a little bit about me and the person behind the camera. A lot of my favorite YouTubers have fantastic personalities that I think I've learned a lot from and they've inspired me to start this YouTube channel. So in some way, shape or form, sometime in the future, I hope to transfer that feeling over to you guys, what I'm feeling right now. I hope to be not only a source of entertainment and knowledge, but I also want it to be a source of inspiration. Now, I know this sounds pretty ambitious, but we just hit 1,000 subscribers. How soon are we going to hit two or <laughs> 200,000? How soon are we going to hit 100,000 subscribers? How soon are we going to hit a million subscribers? This is something that I'm set on, guys, and it's going to be a long journey. And I'm excited for every single one of you guys who are coming along with me. Uh, so you could live that journey out along with me and see exactly what it takes to become successful uh, with a YouTube channel and following your dreams. I've failed a ton. I failed so many times trying to pursue dreams that involved things that I thought I wanted, but in reality, it just wasn't me. And you know, maybe you guys have felt something like that similar, something like that similar has happened in your life, where you're trying to pursue this dream, but you're struggling to find the motivation and you're struggling to find the energy and the ambition to pursue that dream. A lot of the times what I've learned is that that dream might not necessarily even be yours or it's something that you think that you want, but in reality you don't because it doesn't really reflect what you actually want and what your personality is. 
So, part of the reason why I want to make this channel is to inspire you guys and to inspire you to take risks, to be introspective and take the time and reflect on <laughs> it's going to sound cheesy, but on what your life is about and what you really want to make out of your life. Life is so fragile. It's so incredibly fragile that one day you might be here and the next day you're gone. You're just gone. And all that's left of you is a memory. Life is too short to be afraid and not take risks and not pursue what you actually want to do. I hate working a job, man. I work at a warehouse. I've worked tons of jobs before. Dude, I hate that shit, man. Something about just working really makes me depressed on the inside, <laughs> you know? But for example, this, this doesn't feel like work to me at all, man. I just want more people to follow their dreams and be the person who they were really meant to be. Too many people are trapped inside boxes between their job and society and what they think they should be or what their parents think they should be and that's wrong guys that's wrong every one of us was created individually every one of us has our own individual unique purpose every one of us has our own individual unique personality and if i sound preachy good i want you guys to feel the emotion and the passion that i have for this subject This subject is something that's very important to me. And here are some of the plans that I plan to do with this channel, all right. So yeah, every once in a while you might get a weird, cringy, preachy vlog like this one. Something that you might not necessarily be interested, but if you're not, that's all right, man. That's all right. You don't have to watch you don't have to watch these videos there'll be other videos that I'm sure you'll be interested in but if this is truly what you're interested in, motorcycling and hearing hearing me rant about life basically well um, then I encourage you please stick around this channel is gonna be big this channel is gonna be incredible and I can't wait to see every one of your guys' reaction when we finally hit 100,000 subscribers. If you're here from the beginning, you're gonna remember this moment and you're gonna be like, wow, he finally thing did it. And then it's gonna make you think, maybe I should have tried to follow my dream sooner. But let me tell you this, it's not too late. It's never too late, false neutrals, no! If you haven't watched the five things I hate about my Yamaha R3, you gotta go watch that video, guys. Um, also watch the five things that I love about my Yamaha R3. And and watch the video about is the Yamaha R3 slow? Watch all of the videos, man. Just go on the channel and watch them all. Uh, anyway, guys, <laughs> that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. But it's gonna be my first moto vlog of me just ranting and venting. I don't even necessarily know if you could call it venting because that kind of has like a negative context to it. But um, what the f what the f is it called? What's the what, what's the f word that I'm looking for?